King Charles' message to Prince Harry, you're not welcome. King Charles is reportedly urging his brother Prince Andrew to leave Royal Lodge in Windsor and move into Frogmore Cottage. The former home of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. King Charles has sent a clear message to his son Prince Harry that he won't be welcomed back to Frogmore Cottage, a royal expert has claimed. The 75-year-old monarch is reportedly encouraging his brother Prince Andrew to vacate the 30-room Royal Lodge in Windsor and move into Frogmore Cottage. Last year, plans were laid out for Andrew to relocate to the cottage following the eviction of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. At the time it was reported that Andrew had refused to vacate Royal Lodge, but it seems that King Charles has not given up this fight. Royal author and expert Tom Quinn has now argued that the move would send a message to both Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. He told the Mirror, for King Charles, forcing Andrew to move to Frogmore solves several problems at once it sends a message to Harry that. As a private citizen and no longer a working royal he will never be allowed back to Frogmore. He continued, it sends a message to Andrew that having disgraced himself, he can no longer expect to live in the grand style. And, finally, it means that a suitably grand residence can be made ready for the royals who really matter, William and Kate. Charles is determined that Royal Lodge is the only residence on the royal estate at Windsor that is big enough and regal enough for his heir. Following reports that King Charles has once again asked his brother to vacate Royal Lodge, a royal source told the Times. The King's kindness is not without limit and there is a very good option for Andrew to move into Frogmore Cottage. Recently vacated by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, which also has the benefit of being within the Windsor Castle security cordon hence reducing the need for alternative round-the-clock security for Royal Lodge. The source added that Andrew is taking longer than desirable to recognize the reality of the situation. And an individual close to the Duke of York suggested to the newspaper that he might dig in if pressured further. Noting that he has already had a stay of execution due to Sarah Ferguson and the King's recent health issues.